welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about effects of different alloying elements on a steel so basically in the steels that will be the main contaminants and that will be fe and carbon so in the category of steels up to 2 percentage carbon is present into iron and that will be making a steels so by the addition of the different alloying elements rather than iron and carbon and that will be increasing the properties of the materials and that will be as per the my requirements of an applications so basically if you want to make a material tougher hardener ductile increasing the hardness resistance of corrosion sometimes increasing the hardenability sometimes increasing the strength and hardness so different kind of alloying elements is being added with proper proportions into the composition of with iron and carbon so let us see some of the elements that will be added into the steel and it will be increasing the which kind of properties or characteristics of the materials so here starting with the first one and that will be silicon so silicon generally removes the gases and oxides and prevents the blow holes so basically in the case of the castings or you can say foundry is a process to manufacturing from raw material to finished products so silicon having a important role to removing the hot gases and oxide generally which will be developing during the manufacturing process or you can say by the hot working process onto the materials so by the addition of the silicons that will be prevent the blow holes because that will be considering as a defects into the materials so it will be removed or reduce the defects that will be present into the materials so makes material tougher and harder by the addition of the silicon so the maximum solubility of silicon and that will be 0.05% to 0.30% so that will be the characteristics of the addition of the silicon into the steels second one manganese so the characteristics of the manganese and that will be steel becomes ductile and good bending qualities so if your materials becoming ductile so that will be having a good machinability or that will be easily converting into desired shape and size with the help of different cutting operations so in the case of manganese the maximum solubility and that will be 0.30% to maximum 1% in the steels third one sulfur so generally by the addition of the sulfur that should be increasing a machining quality so if your material it will be harder and it will be difficult to machine so by the addition of the sulfur that will be easy going process for the machining so that will be increasing the machining characteristics of the materials next one or you can say fourth phosphorus so by the addition of the phosphorus or steel materials become brittle and reduced ductility so it will be increasing the hardness into the materials so which will be having a difficult for the cutting process or you can say that will be increase the resistance of corrosion and that will be the necessary part for the alloy steels and not exudate and that will be 0.05 percentage in the composition of steel so maximum solubility of phosphorus for making a materials and that will be 0.05 if you want to add more amount of phosphorus into the materials so that material becoming total brittle and that will be having a no applications in the field of engineering then the nickel that will be increasing the strength and toughness of the materials good strength and hardness also and excellent to resistance of the corrosions to so most of the alloy steels the nickel it will be present into the materials 6 chromium 
so generally by the addition of the chromium it increases combined property of the strength and hardness and that will be having a good characteristics like this good corrosion of the resistance so most of the elements or you can say most of the steels that will be containing the chromium because that will be increasing the corrosion resistance and will be not affected by the environmental conditions then tungsten so basically by the addition of the tungsten it increases red hardness of the materials then it improves hardenability of the steels then generally added into the hss materials so that will be called as a high speed steel materials so generally that kind of material is used for the cutting tool materials so that will be having a good hardness or you can say excellent hardness excellent ability to cut the another materials high melting point of the materials good resistance to wear and scratches low tear and that will be having a good cutting force kind of ability so increasing red hardness that will be necessary for the cutting tools materials for the conventional machining then after important part carbon so with the applications or you can say addition of carbon materials becomes hard and strong for generally steels up to the 2% carbon and for the cast iron 2% to maximum 4.5% carbon is present into the materials so that will be the different theories like carbon and iron and that will be called as a iron iron carbon diagram so generally that will be the category of steels and cast iron if you want to enhancing the that particular steel materials or cast iron materials so you should add such kind of alloying elements into the composition with the proper proportions so basically in all kind of steels that will be the requirement of the silicon that will be 0.05% to 0.3% manganese 0.3 to 1% sulfur that will be the least then 0.5 percentage or you can say phosphorus not exceeded 0.05 that will be the important part because that will be increasing the brittleness into the materials and according to the definition of the brittle materials that will be no deformation or zero deformation by the application of the tensile force and by the nickel chromium tungsten and carbon so thank you very much if you like it then subscribe like and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials